Ha! Alright. Glad I automatically took the right way choosing those doors. Except it's locked. Damn it. Oh well, heading back. Okay. I don't know what all of this is. What I do know is that there's a zombie and a bat and I'm in another random fight. So you can die. Charlotte's grave. Do you want to pray in front of Charlotte's grave? Sure. Of course I'm going to pray in front of Charlotte's grave. I feel sorry for the chit. I get the feeling there's something else around here then. What's that? Oh, that's the other doll I need. I will take the doll. St. Daniel's grave. Do you want to pray in front of St. Daniel's grave? Since you felt before. What? Bacon? Roger? Ooh. Oh, Hi, Roger. Oh, repent now. Judgment day is near. The cacophonous sound of seven bugles will consume the heavens, and all sinners will burn in the fiery wrath of the Lord. Uh, but I, no, I will not die. Mm -hmm. Death knows no boundaries. It is an integral part of each and every life. Death is ultimately an act of grace and love from the Lord. <laughs> Hi, Roger Bacon. Oh, How you doing? A blessing, is it not? <laughs> oh, Daniel Scotius Eregina. Blameless soul. That man has not a heart to be found in his body. Though I do thank him for building the monastery here. And you are? Where are my manners? <laughs> Hello. My name is Raja Bacon. I am a monk from the Franciscan order. A monk? And I thought you were a mummy. <laughs> 
yes. You are quite right in your assessment of me. Sun-dried kippers may be more pleasant to look at than dull. <laughs> My shriveled up appearance. Please, you're adorable, Bacon. There was a time when I was hailed as the foremost warlock. But... My profession seems to go in and out of fashion with the passage of time. Can't do much about that, can I? You are a strange man. <laughs> That's if you can be called a man. I have given up being a man many hundreds of years ago. I am no longer a person. Though I hesitate to answer questions regarding my existence because I have yet to figure out exactly what I am. <laughs> That's fine. It's not that I need to know anyway. But tell me, why were you sleeping in such a strange place? I've never been able to awake in a good mood. And I just planned to rest for a while. What year is it anyway? Are we still on the Gregorian calendar? Are you trying to fool me or are you being serious? Of course I'm being serious. The clock I own it's too big for the coffin. It's 1898. Lord have mercy. I've been asleep for close to a hundred years. Well, well, I guess there are some things that still surprise you. Watch out. When life begins to lack the element of surprise, that's when you are walking down the path to the Lord. <laughs> Anyway, as a token of my appreciation, I'm going to keep the metal gate unlocked for you. Go through the gate. Stop pressing your face into my womb. <laughs> Why would you do this for me? Well, it seems to me that your friends are running amok inside the monastery grounds. They're making so much noise. Would you mind telling them to keep it quiet? Huh? Hmm? <laughs> okay, Roger. Just for you. And only for you, because you're adorable. Feeling there's something else I need to do here. Oh well. Because I got his arm. What's that stone for? You look weird. Oh well. That's Charlotte's grave. Oh, the one that I couldn't unlock over here. I remember now. This one. Damn it!
Hey, you two. It's been a while. How you doing? Kadoka. Edward. Oh, thank goodness you're okay. That's not completely the case. I have some bad news for you. I saw the caretakers, both the husband and wife. Really? Where were they? They're dead. Apparently, they were the ones responsible for killing all the thieves and desperados that were sneaking into the monastery. No shit. And with good reason. I don't know. I don't believe it. You should know very well what has been going on. Ogden was trying to avenge the death of Elaine. Death? Of Elaine? I don't believe it. This is preposterous. Who is Elaine? I have no idea. <laughs> James All does. All I know is Elaine's spirit called me to this place. Tell me, who is Elaine? And Patrick. The caretakers told me that robbers broke into Elaine's home while Patrick was away and murdered her. Elaine was a benefactor for the caretakers. They took it upon themselves to murder every single robber and desperado that entered their grounds. It was a form of revenge for them. You gonna explain, James? I'm originally from Ireland, you see. No, well, your name was kind of Although obvious. Although small, my family had a successful business and was soon able to send me to school, which I love from a very early age. I was soon accepted to a prestigious university in England. And with my parents' assistance, I made my way across the ocean. I met Patrick at university. We were both studying chemistry and embarking upon similar paths. About that same time, I began competing for the love of a beautiful woman, Elaine. And we had a falling out. I loved Elaine with all my heart. Omnia Winston to more. But love does not conquer all. I soon discovered that I lacked the social status and inheritance money necessary to properly care for someone so well-bred and sheltered as Elaine. I gave up my suit and made way for Patrick. To ease my pain, I joined the church and left the secular world behind. And being the perfectionist I am, the Vatican made me a bishop in charge of some very important matters. Apparently, if you're looking for the emigre document. It's been so hard to distance myself from one's emotional attachments. Although I had not seen them for 20 years, I wish them all the best in their life together. And if it hadn't been for this, I wouldn't have thought twice about seeing Patrick again. That's right, Patrick. How, how can this be? He promised me he was going to take care of Elaine and make her happy. What could have happened? Being a witness to the gory aftermath. I have a hard time believing the caretakers were acting on revenge alone. Believe me, it was an unimaginably heinous sight. Yeah, there was a lot of bodies you saw, and honey. What about these monsters that keep appearing? No, there's a bigger secret we have yet to uncover. I think it's kind of obvious at this point. I'm, I'm not going to say this anything. This is the key to still. Patrick's mansion. Shall we go? Sure. Shall we, Kadelka love? Alright. We are back here again. We also have the other thing to get the green key from Vigna and Volna. Who I know where they are and I haven't technically come across them yet. So, yeah. Also, we have James and uh, Edward back, so that's good. <laughs> OK. 
Okay, where am I? There I am. Alright, I'm just gonna run and find a save point. And I'm going to save. And I will see you all later. This is Skylo's Let's Play.